to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new, I guess it's a My Damn Hauls episode. I, I guess you could claim it's a My Damn Hauls episode, but at the same time, man, it's just an insane haul. It's crazy as hell. If you guys did not know, my birthday is actually coming up in a couple of days. So spam some happy birthday comments down below, or don't. You know, it's okay. I, you know, this is, this is a free country. You can do what you want. I'm just, you know, you got free will. You can do all those things. But today, man, I had to get into the insanity that was the last couple weeks, man, for pickups. I have to get into it. It was insane. It was incredible. It was all the different adjectives that you could possibly think of. But let's go ahead and dive into what we have collected over the past couple weeks. And I got to start off with the Holy Grail. Look at what we got, bro. Will you believe it? I don't think I posted it on social media just yet. We have the AEW Unrivaled Series number three, one of 500 rare Darby Allen, man. Holy crap in a basket. This figure. I have been trying to track this down forever. So basically, man, we got onto eBay the other day. It was at like a hundred bucks with like four days left. So I just watched it. You know, I was going out of town. I was like, you know what? I'll just keep my eyes on this auction. And sure enough, what happened on the day that the auction was ending, I got an update on my phone or a notification, whatever the hell you want to call it. It popped up onto my screen. It said 15 minutes left. I clicked on it and it was sitting around like 220. I was like, you know what, bro? I'm just going to go in, bid on this auction. And I won. I won and I got it for about 260, 266, somewhere in there. But that's not the best part. I mean, to be honest, that's pretty good. If this had been alone by itself, it would have been incredible. It's in pristine condition as well. It has no like dents or box damage whatsoever, man. It's it's a really fine piece. I love this. This is fantastic. Wish it was in a Defender. I do have to get a Defender case for it, but this is amazing. However, the seller, the auction was not only for that figure, but they also sent, it was actually a part of the listing, and I did not know that this was a part of the listing until after I had won the listing. You ever do that? You ever win an auction and then look at the description and be like, oh damn, I actually got some extra goodies? Well, that's the case because they also threw in a Series 3 Normal Edition Darby Allen, and I actually... <laughs> Uh, this one is probably the most, uh, first of all, this is the first thing I gotta get out of the way. This is probably the most minty AEW figure I think I've ever seen. It's so minty, it's crazy. Like, you know how, like, usually up here gets dinged or the AEW top right here has a little missing pop? If this thing were to get graded, I think it would be a 10. I'm pretty sure it'd be a 10. It's very close to a 10. If it's not a 10, I don't know what is, man. This is a minty, minty, minty Darby Allen right here. So, like, this one right here, I need to get it graded somewhere. I don't even know if they grade AEW figures right now. I need to stick this guy in the Defender and, and then go see what I can do about the grading process because this is the most minty Darby Allen I've ever freaking seen. And the, the, my second point was going to be this is like my fifth mock Darby from this series. So I, I don't know. We'll see about that. I, I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool once I get, you know, once I get moved into the new house and get all the nice things and get the basement all set up or get my office all set up. This will be one that, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'll hang them on card. I, like, I don't want to hang them up on card, right? I feel like that wouldn't be good over time. I don't know what I'll do. I, I We'll see. But there, there's Darby. That is the, that's not even the best part, okay? Well, there was a mess up at the post office. He was supposed to actually ship it out sooner than he did. And he messaged me and said, you know what, dude? I'm going to throw in a Walmart Luminary Sting. So we got an extra Luminary Sting mock. But it does have this massive dent in it. I don't really carry through it in for free because it took so long to ship. So, I, so not only did I get a crazy deal, I got a bonus figure. I got two bonus figures. And it's in minty, minty condition. Or the Darby is. So I'll probably open this and wait for a fix-up or something. So that's pretty cool. I think I think this is an awesome, awesome box, awesome everything. This is beautiful right here. I already have this mint on card, so we're just going to... And I have it loose, so we're just going to add this one into the collection. Now, this is where it gets pretty insane. So I went on GameStop. I saw one guy. One guy said he ordered a couple stings from GameStop. You guys know the craziness of GameStop. He ordered a couple stings from GameStop, and he got two chases. So I said, you know what, bro? I'm just going to say F it. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna order three stings. I'm just gonna order three stings. If I get chases, that's great. If I don't, I'll do something else with them. I got one chase sting. You guys know the this is the first chase that I ever found in store. The second one would be the Anna J. This is the first one that I found. Well, they sent me one chase sting, two chase stings, three chase stings. They sent me three chase stings. Here's the two. 
I'll put this one over here, and then I'll go over here, so you guys can understand that I do have three here. Three Chase Stinks. They sent me three in one package for 70 bucks or whatever it was. I paid 70 bucks, and they sent me three Chase Stings. Unbelievable. When I unboxed them, I said, oh my god, it's actually true. Like, I was like, this is insane. That's that's just mind-blowing. They are, they have since sold out, because once I got these three, I said, oh, dude, let me go see if they have any more. No, they were sold out, so. So they were completely sold out after checking there, but we did get three Chase Stings. I don't, you know, I'm looking for chases, so if you guys want to trade, I could I could trade one of these chases for another chase. So we do have our three chase stings. I'm looking for quite a bit of chases. I do have a checklist right here. I'm checking them all slowly, but surely I'm probably about to have to order more defenders, and I'm going to have to reorganize the room. But I thought that was unbelievable, man. I was losing my mind. Still can't believe it, to be honest with you. But outside of that, we do have some more stuff. I went to my Dollar Tree the other day, and I found this. Fashion doll. It says poopy. Poopé? Poopy? It's just poopy mode something. Anyway, I saw this jacket, and it looked like it would fit a Seth Rollins, so it kind of looks like Seth Rollins' jackets, you know? I found it at Dollar Tree. It was a literal dollar. Came with a bag, some heels, and some pants. I might be able to get usage out of the pants. I just wanted the jacket, so I'm going to open this up, and we're going to see if I can stick this on a Seth Rollins figure right now and see if it will actually fit. Fit. So that's what I'm interested in right now. Here's the jacket you guys can see. It looks like it may be a bit oversized, but I think we can get away with it. You know, it's got a little tag right here. I'm getting rid of that. All right, so it even has Velcro. So that's pretty cool. I feel like it could fit an AEW figure as well. Being fastened in the front, look at that. I mean, it could, it could actually swallow the figure, so we'll find out here. But open this up, slide on the jacket. Okay, so the it's not like horrific. It's actually, it's just kind of like a baggy look to it. But I'll let you guys find out for yourselves. It ain't perfect, but it's not horrific. You know, for a dollar, that's a dollar. That's a dollar jacket right there. A dollar jacket. I think I'm, I think I'm buying it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's bad at all right there. So we got, you know, a dollar jacket. But that's not all we grabbed. You know, I can live with this. It's not terrible. I don't know what I'll do with this, you know? I felt like a dollar was worth the risk, you know what I mean? And last but not least, I can't remember if I talked about this, but I did get my last piece of the Men on Cards set of the Superstars figures. So you guys know, I think I showed this off in a My Damn Halls, the, uh, the Men on Card Hogan unpunched from Series 1, but when I went out of town, I went toy hunting, and I found an unpunched Minty Flair to finally complete the set. So now we have all of Series Series 1, Ric Flair, Honky Tonk, Hulk Hogan, Bray Wyatt, all men on card, unpunched, very good condition. And then we also have our loose collection. So we do have our Bray, we have our Hogan, we have our Honky Tonk, and then we have our Flair. So we have all of Series 1 men on card and loose. Beautiful. They all look great. They all look terrific. I do have to get defenders for these. I don't think they make official defenders. I think you can use some Masters of the Universe or the WWE Universe. You can get some of those and they will fit them, I think, on, like, mockmasters.com or something like that. I think they're out of stock right now, but I will track those down so I can get those up on the wall in the Defender so they're, you know, finally safe and secure. But that pretty much wraps up my haul, man. I knocked out a Grail with Darby. I got an extra Minty Darby. I got an extra Luminary Sting. Three Chase Stings from Series 2, which is unbelievable. Again, man, I'd probably tra I'd trade one for a lot of different things. Here's my Chase list right here. Of course, I have plenty to track down, so there's a thing. I would love to knock out any of these so if you guys have any chases for trade, I will, I would, I would trade. I also have a couple one of 5,000 Darbies that I could trade as well, but you guys can let me know those things, but I'm getting out of here, man. That is going to wrap up today's haul video. Absolutely insane. Had to cover it, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I, I, I mean, good God at the MVP that GameStop was, right? Un, Unfreaking believable. You crossed the line.